Before I had gone to bed last night, I saw on Facebook that the northern lights might appear during the night or the early morning. So I texted my dad to let him know. Then I fell asleep, and about 1.20 in the morning, I woke up having a dream. And in the dream, a friend yelled to me in my sleep that the northern lights were out. So in my dream, I shot out of bed, and I could literally fly through the house. And I went outside to my truck looked up at the sky, and the sky was raging with color from the northern lights. Well, this excitement in my dream woke me up in real life at 1.20 a.m., and I went into Ethan's bedroom, my son, and his bedroom faces north, so I opened the blinds, trying to be quiet to not wake him up, and I could not see any northern lights. I was really disappointed. But there's a lot of trees where we live, and we live down in the lowland, so it's hard to see the sky I got back in bed, I couldn't sleep, so I got on Facebook, and after about 20 minutes of uh, surfing the web and surfing Facebook, I saw somebody's news feed that down in Silver Lake, they were seeing the northern lights at that point. So I shot out of bed, got my clothes on, and I was off to the Ludington State Park. I texted my dad on the way, and I kept trying to call him, but my cell phone wouldn't work. Got to the first curve at the state park, and I could see the northern lights. They were a little bit visible but not very good and I w had a dilemma I knew I had to let my dad know because it was a Tuesday but my phone still wouldn't work so I decided to take a gamble and not shoot any northern lights at that moment and drive back into town till I got a cell signal and usually I get signal out at the park so I was really frustrated but I knew I had to wake him up so I got my truck and I kept driving and driving driving got all the way into town and still nothing. So I had to go inside the gallery, get on a landline, and I called him from the gallery phone and woke him up and told him the northern lights were out. I rushed back out to the state park, and when I got to the first curve this time, they were spectacular. So I started shooting, and this is the first shot I got, and I call it Northern Lights Dream because of the dream I had that woke me up. And week 17 of Tuesdays with Tom Brad Reed was definitely starting out with a bang. At 2.15 a.m. today, the phone rings. I'm delirious, but Brad isn't. He is wide awake on the other end, and he is saying, Dad, you need to get out there. The northern lights are out big time. So out the door I go, half asleep, heading for the South Pier, got a half mile hike ahead of me, and I know where I want to get. And so I am hustling now, looking at the sky to the north. It's full of reds and oranges and yellows that are pulsating. There's some white shafts of light that I've never seen during northern lights. They look like god beams, and so I'm really picking up the pace now. I get to my spot, slap down the tripod, make a test shot, um, try to make sure my uh, horizon line is straight and my focus is on and the test shot says yes it is. I make two more exposures and it's over. Uh, my first shot was the northern lights were just so much more extraordinary than any of the other shots I made and uh, wow I'm so glad that I got it. For my second composition of the northern lights I moved over to the Lake Michigan shoreline and I put my tripod in the water, got down real low, right in front of the jetties at the first curve at Ludington State Park, not far from where I had shot my first image just across the street. And I made an 18 minute, five second exposure and I love how the stars make a trail. The northern lights at this point weren't as good, but with a long exposure, the camera really picked up all the detail and I love the mysterious white shaft of light coming in the right edge of the frame. And I don't know if that's actually from the North Star casting that beam of light because it's so bright. Um, a few people have speculated that that's what it might be, but it is aiming right at the North Star, and it went from the North Star all the way to the ground, so it was very interesting. For my third and final Northern Lights shot of the morning, my dad and I got my truck together and drove down to Little Point Sabo Lighthouse, and I knew what I wanted. I wanted a star trail 
around the North Star with all the stars circling around the North Star. And I wanted the North Star right above Little Point Sabo Lighthouse. So I got in position, put my camera on the tripod, set my aperture to f8, which would give me good depth of field, 200 ISO, so I'd have low noise, and I put my camera on bulb with my shutter release, and I used my iPhone, and I shot a 32-minute exposure, which gave me plenty of light, and it gave me a beautiful trail, so the stars make that circle effect. And the purple, pink, orange, and yellow northern light showed up, and the picture turned out way better than I had ever imagined. It was really fun. turned into a beautiful evening and I'm down in front of the Ludington Beach and I'm shooting one of my favorite trees in Mason County. And this tree's been featured in almost every one of our books and we photograph it quite a bit and it looks great tonight. Now Sarah Jensen and my dad and I stopped at Dairy Queen, got our fix and we are just north of the first curve. I was here, uh, not far from here this morning at two or so to shoot the northern lights and now I'm back. The water is much calmer and I'm in position to shoot the sunset. I love the S curve and the repetitive pattern of the shoreline right here and the dynamic diagonals. And I've got one third sky, two thirds water. I'm hoping when the sun drops down it lights up this water and the shoreline and the clouds are your friends. We got tons of clouds, it's gonna be beautiful. Over to our right over here, you're actually looking at a piece of a shipwreck that had washed ashore here. A friend of ours, Tom Nelson, told us about it and uh, so we came out to see it. I've shot a few close-up shots of it that I think are okay and uh, so I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. And then uh, as we pan back, you'll see Brad and Sarah and Lake Michigan shoreline uh, meandering on out toward Big Point Sable.